Microbial mechanisms of pathogenicity. In this video, we'll be discussing the pathogenic properties. First up is adhesion. So here we have our pathogen. Now attached to the pathogen are ligands. Now these ligands link up with the receptors of the um, phagocytic cells. And this one is a macrophage. Two, we have biofilm. Now biofilm is bacteria that adhere to moist surfaces and contain organic matter. So A, they adhere to moist surfaces. They can multiply and they secrete glycocalyx. Now glycocalyx is a thick substance that helps with attachment. Now, biofilms are also resistant to disinfectants and anti. Number three are capsules. Now, capsules are a glycolics material around the cell. Now, the bacteria that have capsules are Streptococcus pneumoniae, Haemophilus influenzae, Bacillus anthracis, Klebsiella pneumoniae. Number four, the cell wall. So we have Streptococcus pyogenes, and this one produces heat resistant and acid resistant proteins called M proteins. Mycobacterium tuberculosis has a waxy lipid. The waxy lipids and it's called, they're called mycocolic acid. Now the mycocolic acid helps with the resistance of being digested by macrophages or phagocytes. The fifth property, enzymes. So here we have C for coagulase. The H is hyaluronidase. We have I for IgA protease. We have another C for collagenase. And K for kinase. Coagulase turns fibrinogen, that's plasma protein in blood, into fibrin. Fibrin are threads that form blood clots. Hyaluronidase hydrolyzes hyaluronic acid. These enzymes cause gas gangrene. IgA protease. When the body produces IgA antibodies, the pathogen can produce enzymes called IgA proteases that destroy IgA. Collagenase. It breaks down protein collagen now collagen forms connective tissue of the muscles and lastly kinase. It breaks down fibrin and stops blood clotting. All right, welcome to the study time portion of the video of pathogenic properties 
Now we, we need to remember all five of these properties. So I put BEAC, B-E-A-C-C, -C, to remember the five properties. So first up we have B for biofilm. E for enzymes, A for adhesion, or adhere, we have C for cell wall, And the next one is capsules. So we have beak, biofilm, enzymes, adhesion or adhere, cell wall or capsules. All right, it's time to test your knowledge. Question, what are the five pathogenic properties? I want you to tell me what these properties are.